Hi guys, it's Akati Sachdev from Mesmerize Makeup and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Philips Satinel Epilator which I received two weeks ago from Philips. The code number of this particular product is called BRE210-00. I was so excited because guys, to be honest, I wax, shave and epilate. It really depends on my mood, depending on the occasion, where I am. Um, when I'm in Chennai, most of the time I try to wax. But a lot of times I hate to wait for it to grow. You know, it's so frustrating when you have to wait for the hair to grow and then only you can go back to waxing. So um, the easiest method is shaving, but it's obviously um, annoying because every second day you have to keep shaving, right? Because the hair grows so quickly, it doesn't take it out from the roots. My mom loves epilating and she's been telling me from day one that you must use an epilator. It's so much better and more effective than shaving because you'll have to wait for like weeks until you actually go ahead and do it again. So I've been epilating for a few years now, but not very regularly to be honest. I'm going to be showing you a few tricks on how to make your epilating process less painful. And by the way, it's also a giveaway video. So at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving out two products from Philips. This particular one, the epilator and a bikini trimmer. So you'll have to follow the rules and just basically wait till the end of the video. So let me go ahead and open up the box and show you what's inside. So here's a look at what's inside the box. You've got a charger so you basically have to plug it in and charge the epilator for at least an hour before using it. Okay. So please remember you must charge it, never use it while it's charging. So after it's completely charged, you take it out and then you use this particular epilator. The benefit of this particular epilator is that you can use it wet and dry. So you can go ahead and use it while you're in the shower or when you're in the bathtub and also when your body is completely dry, you can carry this wherever you want. It's a cordless epilator. So there are two modes, okay, you have a fast mode and a slow mode. Basically this also comes with a little brush, so if there's any hair stuck, you can just clean it up, go ahead and clean it up and start over again. Now in case you want your skin to stretch, it comes with a skin stretcher which you have to attach. Let me show it to you. Sorry, it's this way. So when you're epilating, it basically stretches your skin. Let me show it to you actually. The next attachment is a razor head which can be used before you epilate to trim your hair so that the process is less painful. So I'm going to go ahead and just push it to one side Pull it open, there's a little cap here, so just remove the cap and now fix this. Just this side, there you go. This is completely pain free guys, I love this. <laughs> For those of you all who don't want to epilate, you can definitely, instead of using a razor, go ahead and use this, it's much easier, you can carry it wherever, you won't lose it and you can use it as many number of times by just cleaning it. If you're new to epilating, here are 10 simple tips to get you started. The first tip is to always shave before you start epilating. So a few days before, Use the razor, this is the razor head which comes with the epilator. Use it all over your arms and legs, wherever you want to epilate. Uh, and then wait for two, three days till your hair comes up to like one millimeter and then you go ahead and epilate. It's always less painful when there's less hair. If you're really hairy and you try epilating for the first time, trust me, you're never gonna get back to epilating because it hurts. The second tip is to use an exfoliator. Always exfoliate your body before you start epilating. It's really important. So when you get into the shower, use a body scrub, scrub your body, get rid of all the dead skin cells. Only then your skin will be smoother and it'll hurt a little less. The third tip is to always stretch your skin. It hurts a little bit less when you stretch your skin, especially areas like your knees, your thighs, the back of your hand. Make sure it's stretched. Um, otherwise, it's really going to pull your skin. The fourth 
tip is to use a numbing cream. Now this is only for those of you all who really can't handle the pain. I've never used a numbing cream to be honest because I'm like, okay, Akhti, be a soldier. You have to take the pain. If you want, go ahead to the pharmacy, buy a topical numbing cream, use it half an hour before, okay? You apply it all over your body half an hour before, let it work, and then you have to wipe it out with a wet towel. Wipe every bit of the numbing cream out, and then you dry it with a dry towel, and then you start going back to epilating. You won't feel the pain. The next tip is to always hold the epilator 90 degrees to your hand or whichever part you're um, epilating. So make sure you hold it this way. You don't want to hold it at angles. Each and every strand of hair will come out only when it's held at a 90 degree angle. The next tip is to epilate in the opposite direction of your hair growth. So depending on whichever section of the hair you're focusing on, just try going in different directions. Sometimes it doesn't work in the opposite direction, so you may have to like move it around a little bit, but you'll figure it out. Also, you have to be really slow and consistent. Don't try going too fast. It'll only break the hair. It won't pull it out from the root. So go at a consistent speed, slowly at a 90 degree angle. The next tip is to listen to music while you epilate. Trust me, it's the best distraction. The pain is much less. While you're epilating, I know it might feel like, oh my God, this is torture. But what you can do while you're listening to music is keep alternating between different body parts. So if you're epilating your arms and you feel like, okay, I can't bear the pain, then just switch to your legs or to the other arm or wherever, to your thighs. I do that all the time. I can't finish one arm at a go. I have to keep going back and forth just to sort of balance out the pain. So yeah, I feel that it works for me. You must try it out and tell me if it works for you. And once you're successfully done epilating, congratulations, you can go ahead with an ice pack, rub it all over your body to cool it down and then go ahead use a moisturizer or like a calamine lotion, anything to soothe out your skin. So those were the 10 tips to help you get started when you epilate. Honestly guys, I know it's really painful but all that effort is worthwhile because there'll be days and weeks where your hair hasn't come out and you're like, oh my god, wow, I don't have to shave or wax or do anything, it's perfect. So yeah, it's worth the effort. It is painful for sure, but I think the music really helps, seriously. Just another thing I want to mention, the reason why I keep stressing on exfoliating your skin is basically it will minimize the number of ingrown hairs that might come along while you epilate. So it's very important every other day to exfoliate, to use a body scrub because that will minimize the number of ingrown hairs. And another thing is after you epilate, your skin might be very sensitive. All of us have different skin types. Some people might get like red bumps and it might become completely red. So it's a normal procedure, even with waxing that happens. Just give it some time. I recommend epilating at least a day before an important event where you want to flaunt your sexy legs and your arms. Don't do it on the same day because you know, you never know how long your body takes to sort of soothe down and calm down. So always do it one day before. Guys, time for the giveaway. Like I mentioned earlier, there are going to be two winners. One will get this particular set and the other winner will get a bikini trimmer. All you have to do is follow a few rules and I will choose the winner very shortly. This contest is only for people in India. So go ahead and keep sharing. I really hope you enjoyed it. Bye.